welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here on this lovely 1st of July, which by the way is four days until my birthday. Um, and I just wanted to come on and share how excited I am about this next video. This video is a vlog from my time in Scotland last summer in July. Um, it is kind of just a culmination of my experiences, what I went through, <laughs> what happened, what I got to see, and overall <laughs> just all of the awesome things that I got to experience. Traveling to a new country for the first time, traveling on a plane for the first time, and really just doing a lot of new things that I hadn't done in the 21 years I've been alive. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. At 21 years old, I left the US for the first time ever. In July 2022, I studied abroad in Edinburgh, Scotland for three weeks. I had so many firsts, like first time ever flying. I was quite nervous, but the views were worth it. It was my first time in a new country, which really rattled me, but it was a really awesome experience. Plus my roommate made it an awesome first journey in the air from terminal to plane to London until we made it to Scotland. I had many people warn me about the threat for black women abroad. From my aunts to my therapist, everyone warned me to be as safe as I could. Edinburgh, though seemingly diverse, is a very white city. I had multiple racist encounters on the street or in the markets, and even witnessed a man attempt to assault my roommate. People in the city, especially during the fringe, seemed very rude or directed anger at Americans. There were even times on the street where white women made loud comments on me and my friend's braids, curious if they'd look good in them. All in all, most people are pleasant, but definitely keep your radar up. They can be very unexpectedly rude if you're an American in their city. The fringe and seeing multiple black performances while I was there really made the trip so, so special, even if it was a little rough at times. Trying the various food spots and all of the fancy drinks and ice creams were probably my favorite part about Scotland. I have so many pictures of the food. Plus, being a newly 21 year old, it was great to try a bunch of different alcohols and infused drinks that were just really interesting to try. I will definitely be going back, if not just for the food. Being able to be in Edinburgh during the Fringe Festival was probably the absolute best experience from the multiple historical stories that were told to the musical performances to the acting. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I loved every single second of it. I saw as many black performers as I could considering the way the city looked. It was just such a great experience. The Soweto Gospel Crier Live was probably one of my favorites. They're an amazing group of singers and dancers and uh, I, I still follow them on social media because they're just that great. But enjoy this little compilation of so many of the amazing artists and videos and the Edinburgh Tattoo. That just made the trip exceptionally amazing. Arthur's Peak was probably the most stubborn and hot I've ever been on a hike, but seeing the peak really made me so grateful the Lord brought me here. The tattoo is a tradition in Edinburgh, so I was expecting to see a lot more just bagpipes and uh, traditional folk dancing, but there were so many diverse performances from Mexico, from the US. They had rappers from the US, which I thought was really awesome. And it was a really amazing experience to just see an arena full of people just enjoying performances, 
folklore, bagpipes, all of the great things. This was also a really awesome performance from the Fringe. The composer's idea for this work was to kind of create live orchestra music, but for a rapper doing the transitions, doing the beats, how that looks different, how it kind of mimics what traditional rap looks like today. It was a really awesome performance to see. The opera singer was absolutely phenomenal. And the idea for the entire work was really just genius. It's starting already. know how it feels to be a superstar like Shaquille O'Neal. So thanks so much for giving me your time, giving me a listen. Let me hear the next sport that we will be dissing. The cross! Yes, they were on it all together. <laughs> now I have to say to my American friends directly across, hey. what can I say about the game? It's called lacrosse. It's shitty. It's really super simple. Yes, you've only got one tricks. You've got to wheel the down the field with a netball with sticks. <laughs> I think overall from the entire trip, as much as Edinburgh is a really beautiful city, going out to the highlands, going out to the countryside was probably the most enjoyable in my experience from the highland coos to all of the ancient literature, artwork, and structures that they had. It was really just beautiful to see outside of the city how much there was to explore, how much greenery there was to see. Oh my gosh, if I could go back to Edinburgh, I'm sorry, I would probably go to the highlands, to the churches, to the little towns on the outskirts more than anything. Up, in, up there and down again. The National Museum of Scotland was one of the first bigger sites that I had seen. You can see the ocean, basically most of the city of Edinburgh from their rooftop, which is just amazing. You can see Arthur's Peak in the distance. It was just so beautiful to be able to see the city from both perspectives of on the ground and up above. Let me know y'all's thoughts or questions in this video or just my experience in general. Let me know what you guys want to see next and please don't forget to like and subscribe.